So my point today is, be sure you're teaching the children to love their siblings. Love them in a way that's expressed through touch, you know, hugs, um, speaking, I love you, right, to each other. You need to tell the kids from day one that you love them. And if you haven't for many years, you need to start now telling your children that you love them because children cannot dream up their parents love them, right? Especially if there is friction in the home, tension, if you um, scream at them, if you correct them in a way that's not very gentle. Uh, all of that aside, you need to say, I love you to the kids. And you need to encourage your kids to tell each other, actually bring them together bring them together and talk to them and let them understand tell your brother i love you tell your sister i love you let me see you do it right and have them tell each other express to each other that they love each other and let them hug right uh, this is a good practice because when these are not expressed in the home, um, later on in life, you're going to see that the siblings, they drift apart from each other. They never get around. They never get around to telling each other, I love you. They are ashamed of it, actually, to say, I love you. So teach them now about this and give them the example by doing it yourself, right? If you have all the children in the home together, great idea, do it together. Just go to each child and look them in the eye, hug them and tell them you love them, right? No matter if they had dif disagreements before, if you just had an argument, if you just had to punish a child. Actually, when you punish them, you need to still say to them, I love you. I punish you for this and that, but I love you. I still love you. I will never stop loving you. You need to say this. Because many parents have lived their whole lives and never expressed to their children how they feel about them, right? And this is a sad case. This is a huge mistake. When they don't do it with the children, then the children usually will grow up and not express it to their children, right? If there are many arguments in the home, still, still tell each other, you know, I'm sorry for my part in it. Learn to apologize. Teach them to apologize for their part in an argument or a fight. Never let your children just fight and never make up or um, make up by um, chance or necessity, right? Never let them go one day in vexation. And you ought not to go one day in vexation with your spouse or with any of your children. You need to make up and show them how you make up. You need to express, I'm sorry, I apologize for how uh, you know what happened today what I said to you I was wrong to hurt your feelings I was wrong to say something so cruel to you uh, please forgive me right 
teach them this by doing it yourself. I know what I'm saying. It's very, very important to apologize, to express love and care and giving hugs and um, treating each other like best friends. I'm not talking about you, a parent, being the best friend with the child. Um, I know that you have to be the parent, but teach your children to see each other as best friends so that no matter how old they get they get married they move out of the home they will still see their siblings as their best friends they will still be able to call each other up get together spend time go to family gatherings right and there will be love but when there is no expression of love there is a coldness there is a wall that's built and nothing but expression can break it down so do it as soon as possible uh, what about when they have their friendships. Be sure that their friendships are never more important than the relationship inside the family. Always keep the relationship with the siblings and you and your spouse as the priority relationship. Other than God, of course, right? We know that God is first but I'm talking about the earthly family. Be sure that you teach the children that the earthly family together is more important than any friend out there. Because I know families, I know people who treat their friends who they just met a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, better than their own siblings. And really, their siblings didn't really do anything to hurt them. It's just that there's this wall that's been built because of not expressing, I love you. Not expressing, I love you. And this is why there is this thing that's hanging over them that they just cannot express, I love you. They can say it to their friend, but they can't say it to their sibling. That's ridiculous. Don't ever let that happen to you and your family. Right? I see people who, um, they're so thick with their friends. They, they go out with the sister and the friend, and they would choose the friend to walk alongside and leave the sister behind, acting as if the sister is nobody. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Right? They treat their friend as if they are gold. They compliment them. They say, um, you know, let's do this, let's go here. You know, they see something. They admire the, the product. Oh, so and so. They call the friend to see it. But they leave the sister behind and they don't say anything to the sister. Right? They act as if the sister is nobody. And the same with the brother, right? They go to the brother's house and they will talk to the brother's wife. Imagine that. And they won't talk to the brother. Now that's ridiculous. I've seen this happen, right? Where brother and sister are not talking, but the sister would be talking to his wife. She would come there and she would chat with his wife and she would leave and she would not talk to him. She would call on the phone and talk to his wife and not talk to him. And vice versa. He would receive the call and then put it immediately onto his wife. You know, if his sister calls him, he feels like, well, she didn't call me. She didn't call for me. I don't need to say anything to her. Um, talk to my wife and that is like 
Wow, I've never, never understood this, why siblings could be so nasty to each other, cold to each other, right? Uh, it, it, it came from some sort of sibling rivalry, um, but we may not ever totally understand why this happens. So please encourage your children to be best friends, right? Their friends come after. They have to do something, they're going out, and the sibling, the sibling needs help with something. I would recommend that you tell your child, listen, let your friend know you will be late. Let your friend know you cannot show up. You have to help your sibling. You have to help your parents, right? This is gonna make the foundation of the relationship in the family very tight, very secure, right? Even if they planned a fun outing with a friend, right? You let them know, listen, your sister is more important than going out with your friend right now. And some of you may say, oh, that's wrong. No, it's not wrong. Because you are really teaching your children that your siblings and your parents are first. I don't care if you wanted to go out with your friend, you planned a day out with a friend. Tell your friend, listen, no, my brother needs me now. My sister needs me now. My mother or my dad needs me now. I have to help them. I will be late or let's do this another time. This is going to teach the children that family is the best thing that they can have, right? And when there are fights and there are arguments, like I said before, be sure, apologize the same day. Like, you know, the Bible says, let not the sun go down on your anger. What does that mean? Don't let a day pass without making apologies and making up. Even that, do this with your spouse. Never let a day go by without making up and making amends. So if you do these um, things that I suggest today, you are going to have more closeness in your family. Your children are going to show love for one another and love for you. And your family is going to be a more peaceful place to be. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.